Belle and Henry, lovely to meet you. You too. I know you've done it a number of times, right? But how cool is it to go back to the Justice League world and reprise your roles? It was amazing. It, it, for me, it was never go back to the Justice League world because it was just... You never the, left. Yeah, we, we never... Yeah, I never left. Because uh, I jumped to Justice League right the day after I, I finished shooting Wonder Woman. So it's been a marathon. A marathon. Um... Uh, yeah, it's been wonderful. It's been great. Yeah, and for me, I mean, I'm dead. So all I did was come and visit the guys with scones and stuff and just really good made them as comfortable because they shot here in England. So I just wanted to... <laughs> I'm here for moral support. <laughs> and the moral support was so good that you decided to stick to the um, the training regime Absolutely. and the diet no, regime. You've got, got, got to lead by example. Everything. You've got to like, turn up and be like, hey guys, I know you're training. I'm going to train too. To, yeah, like, it was wonderful. Yeah, we're going to go get, get this together. Well, maybe you can give me some advice, right? Because... I like to think I can train, but then something calls will well called lack of willpower kicks in. Yeah, how do you we'll stay? Yeah, well, how do you stay so disciplined? And how do you, you not get hangry? To. And uh, how do you what? Not get hangry. You know when you're so hungry that you get uh, angry. You need, I mean, oh. Who says we don't get angry? Yeah. I mean, we get angry. What are you sure. talking about? We all <laughs> yeah. get tired. We're just like everyone else. We all sometimes don't feel like working out, and we're all hungrily angry. <laughs> And, um, you know, it happens. But eventually, I think that it takes, like, a couple of months until you get into the regime, and then it's, it gets easier. And yeah, easier it, to it, get helps. Used to it. it helps having a routine. It helps having to do it. It helps having the responsibility of doing it. And, and by the way, how amazing is that, that, like, our job is that we have to look super strong and have be able to move in a cool way. Like, that's incredible. Yeah. yeah. And when you Privilege. have a bad day, you've got a trainer to kick you in the ass and make you do it. In yeah. life, sometimes we look to heroes to get us through, to inspire us. Who were your heroes growing up or even right now? Who do you look to? Oh, my mum has always been a hero of mine. No, she, and I don't, I'm not just saying just for the R factor. She's, she's amazing. Uh, she raised five boys. Wow. Um, she's, and we're all fairly sane as far as, <laughs> as, as sane as boys can be. And uh, it, she's just... A miracle worker so much quiet strength in that woman and um i yeah i, I aspire to be like her she's been my hero girl wow how do you follow that up <laughs> no 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 I, mean, I think that everyone <laughs> thinks that their own mother is the best mother in the whole world mine didn't raise five boys but she raised two girls and she that sounds pretty hard she's done a pretty good job in in just you know giving us the ability me and my sister to feel that we are capable and we should do whatever we feel like doing, even if it means that it's, you know, not unusual. Um, and and she gave us, she managed to give us a really good self-esteem, and this is something that I would love my daughters to have. I would love to give them. So yeah. I love that they've given you that, and that they've given you, they've given us you. So thanks so much for oh. this. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank lovely. you so much for thank coming. You. Thank you. Thanks for